Hello, hello, hello. Hello, guys. Future Salt is here. Uh, I'm gonna show you the room page. Uh, there it is. You can change the domination if you don't like it. I like it this way. And I'm definitely going to uh, upload another video about Pike that will cover more points because I didn't cover every point and every fight and every situation I'm gonna be in. So, thank you for watching and peace out. So, today, guys, we're going to play Pike. We're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to teach you how to play Pike. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna know how to use this Q. We're gonna I'm gonna teach you how to use this W, his E, and his R. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you the room page. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what items you should get against two or whatever. Okay, so let's start with the Q. So this is the normal Q. You're gonna have this E. That's the normal procedure any pike will do. Okay, so let's start with the hook. Okay, you're gonna hit him like that. Like this is this is fine. This is fine in Elaine if you're playing him support, which you should because Pike is a support, not jungle, mid or top. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do here is charge your Q. Why charging your Q? Charging your Q will make the HP or whatever you throw or whoever you're gonna throw the hook against will make him nervous. When will you throw it? How will you do it? Like that, yeah. So it will make him make him nervous, and he won't know how to move anymore. Like when you do it like that, okay, to throw it. He can easily dodge it. He can easily. He might dodge it. He might not. But when you want to make him nervous and stuff, you can charge it and throw it. Charge it the like the last second before it finishes and use it. Okay. So let's say let's say we got the sport. Uh, and the ADC. Okay, let's say that this is the ADC and this is the support. Okay, usually a pike will just go to one. Like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Go on him. There's still the ADC or the support. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, let me get this back a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hook this one. Let, let me show you. I'm gonna hook this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay, I need twice. Rest in peace. I'm gonna do that again. Uh, let me again. Okay. This is the support, let's say. You're gonna hook him, and this is the ADC. So, you throw your hook like that. You hit him closer, and from the tool them. This is really good. This is really good in your lane. This is will definitely make them both slash, and the ADC uses his heal. Uh... Yeah, I so I'm gonna show you the again. Okay, so the support of the ADC is here. They are really, they are not really far from each other. But if you wanna get them closer and stun them, like if you cannot do this, it won't work. You can flash, but you will waste your flash. Okay, so what you do here is get the ADC or the support like that and stun the both of them. They might flash, they might heal. They will use the summoners, which is good. You will have the uh, priority in the next fight to win the fight. Okay, so next thing is uh, the E. Okay, let me get the E. Okay, let's say you want flash, like you, you're gonna do this and flash to here. Okay, this is easy. You can do that, like flash, flash here. That's fine. Okay, but the trick here when you want to use your E is look what I'm going to do. Like, let's say this uh, champion doesn't have any flash. That's 100% uh, you're going to stun him, okay? Use this, okay? When when you want to flash, this, let's say the ADC got the flash here. Let's say the ADC or support got the flash. You can surprise them like the Yas one when he got his uh, his. His tornado, he flashes you, he stuns you, uh, he knocks you up, then he uses the ult, you won't have any time to react. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat, okay? Look. Look. When the E comes to you, you flash. Like, it's, it's like 0 0.5 seconds the difference. I'm gonna show you again. Look what I'm going to do here. Okay. The, the ADC thought that I'm not going to flash here. 
that E is already gone. But what I did here is I stunned the support. Look. Okay, it didn't work. I lagged. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Okay. Yes. E. Now the ADC was surprised. Hello, his E. His E went away. How did he stun me? It it's is like a 0.2 second gap. You can use it to stun both of them and surprise uh, and surprise them both. Okay. Uh, what? Good captains uh, are drowned, uh, captain. Okay. Uh, let's talk. I I prefer to go ignite on Pike because you can do so much damage like level two. Imagine imagine like there's Nami that. Squishy champion or all the squishy champion, squishy sports. Uh, you go on her, that's E, that's you, that's Ignite. Now she lost about 500 HP. She might heal her, ADC might heal her, she might flash just for doing this simple thing. Okay. Uh, what, um, the items. Let's talk about the items. The items. Now. Uh, I'm I went aftershock and uh, domination as the secondary why I'm I'm gonna tell you why won't you go uh, electrocute why aftershock is better aftershock makes you a lot tankier pikey uh, pikey <laughs> lol uh, <laughs> pike is a really is also a squishy champion like okay you're gonna use your W to heal back all the all the HP you lost but in some situations uh, you're playing against champions who have That's a lot of CP and you're gonna That's get the uh, demolished. You're gonna get uh, you're gonna get destroyed. So you go after shock so you can handle all the damage the ADC will do or the mid or the top lane or the jungle. That's the thing. If you want to play electrocute, play it. Take electrocute when you know you're playing against five champions that are really squishy. So aftershock is the better uh, better option. I used to play electrocute when I tried aftershock. It was a lot better. I could uh, stay in fights longer. I could uh, the aftershock uh, makes a lot of more damage when uh, all the enemy champions are together. It's it's uh, it's tactical. It's tactically better. Okay. Uh, and the item. What's worth okay. more? I prefer. Okay, you go. If you wanna go ancient coin, you you're gonna make sure that your ADC will not get any heals from you. So if you wanna go in, you wanna go in for all for like you either you're gonna win the fight or you're gonna lose the fight if you wanna go uh, if you wanna go relic shield uh, you can play a little bit safe i don't prefer to play pike safe unless unless there's alistar against me or a really annoying support like alistar or i don't know nami, nami can be the squishy the squishy sports can sometimes be really Really annoying if they know how to play, so I prefer sometimes to go right shield over Asian coin, uh, uh, especially if you're playing with uh, a pre made. Go relic shield. Okay, so let's talk. Let's talk what's next. Uh, what's next? Next. Let's talk about the alt. Okay, so this is a, bit, a really big uh, subject to talk about the alt. Uh, okay. Let's say the champion playing against is uh, under the line where you can kill him, use your own, and kill him. So this is, easy. This is like uh, the normal thing, you're gonna get him, that's the normal thing Pike will do. Okay, let's talk about the steps of how to use your ult and when to use it and how it will affect your ADC and the plays you're doing. Okay, so let's say... Uh, it's important to you to get the to, when you get level six to go all in with the alt I and get a little bit of it. But it will affect your ADC somehow when you're when you're like six zero zero and your ADC is zero zero six. It will affect him like mentally. Just I'm gonna like uh, I played with a lot of people and it affects them so like mentally it affects them so hard. So. What uh, I'm gonna teach you first is like this is he's above the, he's under the line you ult him Monsters easy death okay waves. this is normally like let's spawn another uh, enemy dummy here ult here you go over a low low you, you do triple uh, triple ult you get the triple kill that's uh, that's really good in team fights but let uh, let's talk about uh, how to use it when you're uh, 
how to use it uh, when you're running away or when you're following someone. It's not about always to get the kills with the ult. The, like that's the thing that uh, people or people who play Pike wanna use it for. Like let's just ult and get the kills. Yay! Look at me. I'm 16, 1, 5. I'm I'm a I'm a god at Pike. That's that's easy. It's so easy to get e uh, kills with bikes. Just go in. If they are low, get the kills. Go what? That's easy. But let's I say. I all the way to the Let's bottom. see. Let me clear all. Found there ain't none. Clear. Okay. Spawn enemy down. Okay. Let's say he's here. He's going away. Okay. He's like uh, seventy percent health. Okay. So what you're gonna do if your uh, if your Q and W and E are all cooled down, but your alt. You can reach him with the, with your with your alt, but you can't reach him with your E. You can do this. You can do this. E M Q. Then when you E, you can go back and E him uh, backwards. This will definitely get the kill. You won't get the kill, but your uh, your uh, ally champion uh, will definitely your friend or your ally will get the kill. Okay. Uh, you can use it in many different ways, yeah, you can use it, I'm gonna teach you now how to actually run away by using your ult. Let's say you have three, desk. let's say I'm gonna make it harder, like I'm gonna make it really hard to clear all dummies, let me teleport to here. Let me teleport to here, okay you're here, there's a tower here, there's a tower here, you're really low on HP, like really, really low on HP, let, let me do this, wait. Let me get low. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. Uh, revive, let me revive, 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 revive. Okay. Let me teleport again. I'm stupid. Ugh, please report me. Okay. Let me get it again by four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, you're you're really that low on HP, like really, really low on HP. You don't have your E, you don't have your Q, you don't have your W. You can't use anything to run away except your ult. Okay, let's say you have, let's say someone is coming from here, and someone is coming from here, and someone is coming from here. Wait, okay. Let me put a word here to see the... Keeps um, the fog no. away. Okay. You don't have your Q, you don't have your W, you don't have your E. But you have your ult. Let's say the three of them are coming against you. You can't do anything. They have CC, they will kill you. What you're gonna do is... Like you have the tower here, you have the tower here, you're gonna die anyways. Okay, if you don't have any Q, W or E, you can use this. Let's say your E is cooled, uh, her, it's cooled down, it's two seconds left. But you're gonna die in these two seconds, but you have your ult. You can come to here while this coming this dummy is coming to you. You can see that you can use your ult like this. You're gonna go to him and run away. This is a really, really good way to run away from a fight if you're alone, if you want to go kill someone with your ult, but you are but you're gonna die because you are on low HP. I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it again. There's three people who's gonna kill you easily. There's no way to run away. You have your ult. What you gonna do? You're not gonna ult this dummy. You're not gonna ult this dummy. But you're gonna ult this dummy. Because he's outside of his base. So you ult here. You E. And you run away. Why did you E? Uh, salty. Why did you E? Then. Why didn't you E first? Because if you use your E. You're. L look. Let me see. I use my E like this. Yeah. I use my E like this. There's a still a big chance that this enemy will still follow. No but if I ult him, water. I'm gonna do damage. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna stun him 100% and run away. Yeah. This is a really good tactic. I. It's, you can you can use it in many ways. You can use it in really many ways. Like I'm gonna show you another example. Uh, let's so see. Enemies, no enemies, enemy, 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 spawn, enemy, dummy. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's say these five dummies are following you. You are here. 
Okay, let's say these five dummies are fo uh, four dummies are following you. Let me see if I can spawn one more. No, I can't spawn one. Let's say you are there's three champions here against you and this one. You you don't I have you don't have your uh, W, you don't have your E, you don't have your Q. So what they won't expect is you have your ult, but they won't expect how smart will you be when you use your ult to escape and not use it to just kill. You're not gonna use your ult all the time to escape. Uh, sorry, you're not you're not gonna use your ult all the time to kill people, you're gonna use it to escape, you're gonna use it to, to make damage, so people can do more damage, let's, okay, so let's talk, let's stay with the escape here, okay, I'm here, I'm surrounded, I can do this, go away and leave, Everyone's got a that's easy, that you can do it the other way, but uh, let's just uh, uh, keep on with the, this one, because, uh, He's one, he won't be able to follow you like these three. Okay. Let's talk about the damage. Let's talk about the damage and not taking kills with the ult. Okay, spawn, ally champions. Let's say there's a big fight happening here. Everyone is fighting. This is it. Okay. Everyone is fighting here, okay? There are three here. And your champions are going in, they are squishy, they, they might lose the fight, they are losing the fight, but they have damage, okay? But, uh, but the champions against them are doing more damage, you might lose, okay? So, you're not gonna wait, you're not actually gonna wait your champions, your ally champions to uh, get the enemy champions low. So what can you do is, you can ult, go in, some three of them, you... And your ally champions will uh, will probably kill them by then. So w the the idea here is not to always use your ult to kill. It's you uh, you can use it to make damage. It it does decent damage late game to to squishies, not to not to tanks, but to squishies like the ADC, maybe the mid, the jungler if he's uh, squishy. Like you can do a lot of CC if you ult in and Q uh, and E and Q. Q does a lot of damage and it slows. Okay, so uh, let's talk here about the Q. The Q. Okay, the when to use the Q to pull nothing. someone, and when to use it to slow him or to make damage, like this, this one. Okay, uh, let's say the the it's the, the situation is like this. Okay, you can do, do that. Okay, do that. Ton, four of them, or three of them, or whatever the hitbox hits. Okay, or or when uh, when you, when you don't want to charge it, the fight is really going fast. There's no time to react. Uh, it's better to use your Q immediately because if you E like that, you're gonna stun them, and your E, uh, sorry, your Q will do damage to three of them. Uh, with items, of course, it will do more damage and stuff. Like this, and like this, and then like this. I think I did here f uh, damage to four of them by the Q, and then, then if they are really low, you can ult kill them, or you can ult them. This is a really, really, really good way to play Pike. Okay. I told you how to spa no uh, how to escape with the alt. Okay, let's jump to the W. Uh, the W. You go camouflage. You have your uh, you have your sight like this this much. Yeah. So let's say your bot side. Your let's say I'm gonna give you the worst. Uh, the worst champion they can pick against you, but uh, let's say Alistar and Heimer. Heimer he is really, really, really bad to play against Pike because he's gonna put his three turrets. You can't use your E if you go. If you use your E, his turrets will focus you. You're gonna die. You can't Q if you Q, uh, if you Q. He's gonna put the ca the the mini cannon again uh, in front of him. You're gonna you're gonna hook the cannon. It's really hard to play against. But let's say. Let's say it's really hard. It's really, it's a really hard thing. What to do here is to use the W and uh, to start roaming when you can't do anything. Uh, what else? Let's say you're gonna use your W to roam. You're gonna roam. Okay. The thing here is is get this uh, weight. Is to get this oracle lens. Why? 
you get it so early, so you can roam. But learned. let's say there's a ward Bingo. here, maybe That's there's a sure ward here, me. there's a ward here or here. They're gonna see you. So when you come here, don't use your W so so fast. Like, like just uh, get the control ward, put it here. If there's no ward, uh, if there's no ward, continue. Like uh, the the enemy the enemy bot lane will probably want to that you are roaming that you are pushed they they have the push lane uh, blah 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 okay. so when you get exactly here use your oracle use your oracle to sweep the area so they they won't see you coming so when you get here use your oracle then use your W because if you use your W then oracle the W will go away so when you get here use your W with the oracle. Let's say there's a ward here, he's gonna not gonna see it, okay, you're here, he's here, the champion is here, the champion is here, you're gonna hit him, you're gonna get him, ult him, uh, eat him, stun him, and kill him. Uh, why would you, why, why would you roam? If, uh, oh my god, <laughs> the minions are going to the game, please. Okay, why would you do that? Why would you roam? Uh, Pike is a really good champion at roaming when your lane is probably done, as in you want it. Uh, or the lane is pretty steady, like you can't hook, there's a lot of minions, the, there's a counter against you, you can do a lot of stuff, so you start roaming. Your, your mid lane maybe is still 0-1, you want to give him that... Uh, <laughs> you want to give him that kill to to give him a hope that he's gonna win the lane. You can go topside, do the same thing. Uh, you need to contribute with every lane because Pike is so important in that. It's, it's so important early game to win the lanes and win the game eventually. Because Some winning the lane, you're playing and you're, uh, it won't, won't assure you that you will win the game. So it's really important to roam. Okay, let's, let's go back about the uh, ult. Okay, uh, let's say you are 10 0, 0 okay? Your ADC is 0, 0, 10. You got 10 kills and your Dragon ADC got all the, all the, all the, your cut. It's called your cut. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, how does it make you feel? How does it make you feel when your support is 10 0, 0 uh, and the ADC is 0, 0, 10? It, it's gonna feel kinda sad to the ADC that he, he feels like he's the support when 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 he's the laner, he, he's the AD carry, he's literally the AD carry. So what ca you can the do is use your ult, like I said, to do damage, to give him the kills, not to give him the kills uh, by, uh, <coughs> by, take, by you taking the kill and give him the cut, but <coughs> you can. Uh, use it to give him the kills by uh, just doing damage or or this is like this is really hard to do But it can w work a lot of times when uh, when the enemy champion is against you Okay, he's literally sometimes he is like below the line. He's uh, 15 HP. He's 20 HP Wait for the moment your ADC auto attacks and then ult why because you're gonna get the cut if you ult at the same time the ADC kills the the enemy champion uh, you're gonna get the cut too so it's a really smart play to do to give your ADC kills so he can at least uh, feel like at least he can feel like he's doing something good not your ADC uh, not, sorry not the support but you're gonna say salty then why do you wanna play pike if you're not gonna get the kills you're not gonna yeah I know but it uh, mentally for the ADC or any other champion you're playing with uh, it feels, uh, I don't know, it feels like, I know, I know, like, I played with a lot of people and I felt like how, uh, how, how down they felt because I'm taking all the kills, I'm taking all the stuff, especially when they are uh, 1v1ing and you just go in and alt and take the kill. Like, it feels sad, it feels like they are not doing anything, they're doing a lot, but them it feels like they are doing uh, nothing because they are the AD carry again so I'm gonna see the last part with, uh, before I end the video uh, I'm gonna talk about the runes and uh, <coughs> I'm gonna talk about the runes and uh, oh my god the items okay uh, so when I said about the 1 HP like I said wait your ADC or anyone to auto attack that last one and alt your uh, your ult is going to reset or refresh or whatever it is. So you're gonna take the cut. He's but he's gonna take the kill. If he takes the kill, he will feel better. Just trust me and do it. Uh, not all the time, of course, but when you feel like you're ten zero or you're you're six zero, no, okay, that's fine, that's enough. Let me 
let me let me give uh, my ADC some kills so his KDA looks cool it may it will make him feel better and whatever okay so about the runes There's like I no said I'm sorry, I'm gonna show it is right business. here on the uh, on the screen okay uh, why I, I used to go and the items I I used to go dusk blade. I used to go uh, mobility boots. I used to go offensive items. Ghost blade. Okay. So when I when I played bike even and even more, I th I started to think, uh, okay, this is this is wrong. I'm dying so fast. What's happening? I'm not. Uh, if 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 they have so much CC, I'm gonna die so fast. So the thing is, you can go Asian coin or relic shield. Relic shield is uh, more. Uh, Relic shield is how can I say it is more tanky. Yeah, so you can go, uh, you can go ninja tabais, then you can go the black lever. The it's gonna be the top the much longer. Uh, let me start the game. Start the game. Okay. So what, I'll, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh my god! I I started the game and my mind restarted with it. Big rest in peace. Uh, yeah, the items, the items. So you go ninja tabite, okay, you go Asian coin or relic shield, then you go black lever. When you go black lever, black lever is really important for the cooldown, 20% uh, cooldown reduction with 400 HP, and the passive and uh, and the two passive it got it. Uh, it's really good on fight. Okay, the second item you wanna go if you're playing against AD champions is go to the armor and get this item, Frozen Heart. Frozen Heart is really good, it gives you 100 armor and 400 mana if you're running out of mana, like Pike sometimes can really run out of mana, and 20% cooldown reduction. Like, if you're really good at Pike or you're starting new, uh, you can get easily to 40%. When you go to 40%, like, you're gonna E constantly. E or Q or uh, or W, like uh, you're gonna become mobile so much, like it will annoy the enemy champions. Okay. After Frozen Heart, you can go Death Dance. Why do you wanna go Death Dance? Dealing physical damage heals for 15% of the damage deals. This is uh, this is 30 33%. As effective for area of effective damage. Okay, this is good. 30%, but 30% of damage taken is dealt as a bleed effect over three seconds. Uh, That's really good. That's I actually really good. So I want you to go uh, Ninja Tabais, Black Lever, Frozen Heart, then go Death Dance. And if uh, if you go really late game, go Guardian Angel. And if you're playing. And, and this is really important now I remember magic resist this item is very important spirit visage why is it important increases all healing received by 30% okay your W will heal you right so when you W uh, when you W it's gonna uh, heal you so fast like let's say you got from 2000 HP to 1 HP in like 1 second then you just use your W and then it will heal like about 1500 they gonna see your full HP again they like what the fuck when when did he when the, in 1 second because of the spirit physics increases all healing he received by 30% which is good which is really good because it will annoy them as fuck and it will give you a really really good advantage so guys I hope I really hope this video will benefit ship. you and probably, probably I will do more, uh, more detailed, uh, more detailed uh, videos about it. Like this video took me about 30 minutes to do, just to tell you uh, how to do it uh, in a broad way, like, in, uh, like just how to use your Q, how to use your W. I didn't show you real life, uh, real life examples, <laughs> real game examples. Uh, yeah. So uh, if you're gonna watch it, you're gonna really, really benefit from this so uh, if you're watching thanks for watching uh, subscribe like if you think you got if you if you if you if you saw plays that I didn't uh, or or videos that uh, that are way more uh, beneficial please link me so I can see them and thank you for watching peace out